My name's Anthony and I'm the Head of Admissions and Registry here at Doverbrook School. I'm actually responsible for admissions across all three sites, but today I want to talk to you specifically about sixth form applications and admissions. Now the process for our UK students and our international students is largely the same, but where there are differences, I'm going to highlight those to you as I go through. The first thing we hope you'll do is that you'll come and visit us for one of our open days or see the materials that we have on the website for our online open events if you're international. What these events do and what our open days offer is the opportunity for you to come and meet subject teachers in person and to talk about the passion that you have for the subjects you want to study with us. You get the chance to speak to pupils currently at the school or to watch videos from them and you also get a chance to listen to talks from our principal our head of sixth form and also our academic director. What these offer is an opportunity for you to see what Dover Brooks is like as a school and also to understand our educational ethos that underpins everything that we do. After an open event we hope that you'll come back and see us for an individual visit. These are usually around 30 minutes to an hour long and they give you a chance to walk around the school and to ask questions of one of the admissions team and also to meet with teaching staff and pupils as you go around and if you're interested to see our boarding accommodation. After that we would ask that you submit a formal application, the supporting documentation and also pay a registration fee for us. What that application form provides us is an idea of you as a student, an idea of how good you might be academically, what your interests are and how well you'll fit into Doverbrooks if you join us at sixth form. It's really important that you tell us as much as possible in this application process. So all the supporting documentation should include things like your reference from your current school and your latest school reports, as well as anything you might want to share with us in terms of your hobbies, your interests or your hopes for the future. We use that application form and then we schedule an interview for you to come and speak with either our head of sixth form, our academic director or sometimes you get a chance to talk to me. And what that interview is, it's usually around an hour to an hour and a half. It allows you to talk about all your subjects that you want to study with the passion that I'm sure you feel for them and also for us to ask you questions about your learning and for us to ask you questions about what you might want to do in the future. During the interview you'll get a chance to talk to teachers again and ask them questions and also you might also get a chance to talk to some current pupils about their experiences in the subjects in a lot more detail than you would have done beforehand. Once the interview is over, and we use the term interview, but it's very much just a discussion between ourselves and yourselves to make sure that it's the right fit in terms of your education, what we would do is we would make you an offer of a place subject to our entry requirements, and those entry requirements are available on our website. We would also then write to your current school for a reference, just to make sure that everything tallies up with what we think, and we also need to know what your predicted grades are going to be in your GCSEs or other qualifications if you're an international pupil so we can understand that again you're going to meet our entry requirements for the academic ability that you have. For our international pupils there's one extra stage in the assessment process and that's simply an online English language test to make sure that you meet our entry requirements for our English language um, ability and again that can be found on our website for more details around what those scores actually are. If you're interested in coming to, to do maths for our international pupils, again, there's also a maths test that we ask you to sit, and more details about that can be found on our website too. Once we've issued you with the offer, it gets really straightforward. Um, you can consider it, you can ask us more questions, and hopefully you'll accept it and pay your deposit. The only extra things you can do during the application process are apply for one of our scholarships, or if you need to, to ask us about the bursary support that we have to offer and details about scholarships and bursaries are also on our website but please do ask teachers, please do ask current students and especially ask me or my team about what these scholarships are available for you and the timescales in which you have to apply for them. We have a really broad range of scholarships available and we really do hope you'll take the opportunity to sit for one or the other of them. That's about it for the admissions process. Once you're accepted there's of course a joining process that you go through and an induction process but that's slightly separate and it's something that I hope that we get a chance to talk to you about once you've decided you're going to come to Dover Brooks. Should you have any questions about the process whatsoever, please do get in touch with me or any of the members of my team and our details are on the website under the admissions section. Okay, so all the best for the future and we look forward to seeing you as soon as we can. Thank you.